So here we are again. This is about my eighth time on this farm. Uh, my theory is to get a few rabbits for the dog, but I think there's going to be a few rats around as well. You can see in the background there, uh, that's one of the sheds I shoot in. And this is one of the other ones. Right at the back of that shed is the ledge of death. Uh, I've got a few cows today. Makes a change because I don't normally see them. It's pretty damn windy. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything moving there. But it is fairly windy. Anyway, crack on with the shooting and see what happens. There are 24 rats on this video. I ended up cutting the evening short because it was far too windy. To the stage where I had problems actually trying to hold the gun still. This one's just sniffing the one that just shot. Waiting for him to stretch his neck out. That's the ledge of death, but they didn't actually fall over it. Pretty big ones this evening. inches body wise anyway I was actually watching a rat on thermal when that one legged it I shot that one the one I was actually watching on thermal was still sat there. As you can see here the wind does start to pick up and it does quite get I wouldn't say gale force, but it's pretty damn windy. The four mil dots hold over on that one. It was about six, nearly seven meters. I had the wind behind me on that one, so what? No problem with that one. About 30 meters. I did try and keep it as close as possible this evening. just before he had a scratch not a single movement from it there it stayed like a bad shot but it was actually a clean shot this one would have been pretty difficult to spot without a thermal I don't 
think he's jumping for joy. to go to see that when he was actually dead but he was about two foot back in the hole and I wasn't going to be sticking my hand in there to get it. Lucky to drop on that one. This was the biggest fat I shot this evening. Had a 12 inch body on it. You see how long he is a minute when he flicks his tail round. This is the one I was chasing down the edge just now before I shot the other one. Smack between the eyes, as you'll see on the slow mo. A bit of a blood spray off that one. Out cold. Top of its head off on this one. So he left his brains behind. Stage, the wind started picking up quite bad. It's the last one of the evening. The slow mo on this one, the pellet just landed just above its right eye, its left eye, even. Depending on which way you're looking at it. So this is all I managed to pick up because of where there was. As you can see, there's some big boys there. Just a Wolverine. I'm taking my IR torch off just in case my gun fell over in the wind. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch up with you on the next one.